Howdy. So now we have a resource group, but we have nothing in our resource group yet. So let's start adding to that. The first thing we need to do is add a virtual network for everything. So what is a virtual network? Well, let's, let's search for it here. We can go to virtual networks here. So a virtual network is your own network in the cloud. So basically what, what it does is the virtual network is going to be your, your, your own personal network that's going to contain all of your resources. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow you to, it's going to secure, secure everything. So you're going to be able to specify what can get in and what can get out of your network. So you can think of that as like, as, as maybe if you had an office and, and you're, you can only communicate with computers at that office. Or like they might not allow you to, you know, access a certain website because you're inside of that network and they won't allow certain traffic out or they won't allow certain traffic into your network. So a virtual network in the cloud operates the same way. And you just you you specify what can what can leave the network and what can get in the network. So you can have multiple machines inside your network just talk to each other inside of your little miniature network but not everything nobody can get in the network unless you allow them to get in the network so, so let's start creating that and, and we'll, we'll learn some things as as we go i'm not going to go into everything about how virtual networks work and, and networking because that's a huge undertaking and there is a lot of complex things involved but we'll, we'll get set up with some subnets and different things like that on on, on how they work all right. So, so right now we have we have no virtual network. So let's let's go to virtual network. So we did it in the search bar. Right here. So let's go to add. All right. So again, we have to sub specify a subscription. We're going to use our Azure course that we created before, and now it's asking us for our resource group. And you remember in the previous video. We created the resource group of course resource group. So let's select that. It also gives you the option to create new. So you can actually create your resource group from the virtual network if you needed to. But we're going to create everything before just to, so we so we can get a feel for every single um, service that we have. All right. So instance details. So the name. So what do we want to name our virtual network? Let's just do course VN. So that'll be virtual network. And you can name it anything you want. And then now we have the region. So we went over regions on, on different things like um, on how regions work. So since I'm in Florida right now, the closest to region to me is US East or US East 2. I'm going to stick with US East just because that's closest to me. But I could easily just do US West if I wanted to. You know, it's just it's just farther away. But, you know, I want to be closer to where I'm going to be operating, you know. So my, might as well be the shortest um, shortest spot away. Let's do that. Another thing to know is a virtual network is, is, is scoped to the region. So this virtual network, once we set it to US East, we can't use this virtual network um, in other locations. And the way to do that, which is outside the scope of this right now, is virtual network peering. So if you did need a, a um, virtual network that you needed to use US East, and then maybe it needed to communicate with a, a virtual network in US West, you can do virtual network peering, peering, P-E-E-R-I-N-G. Uh, we will not go over that right now, but just throwing it out there so you know about it. All right, so we've got that set up. So now let's go to IP addresses. All right, so, so what you want to do is just stick with the defaults. I'll go. Over, I'll, I'll briefly explain a little bit of this. But so it has your IPv4 address space, and what this is doing is the default that you have right here is is basically saying that. Inside your virtual network, you can have 65,000 addresses inside of that virtual network. 
And what's that mean? That means, you know, you have 50, 65 unique IP addresses that can be used inside of, inside of that, your virtual network. And this is very important when you're setting up, you know, if you're going to be setting up a production environment for your virtual network, you want to make sure that you don't run out of IP addresses to use, you know? So if you think you're like, you're, you're setting up a, a virtual network for a small company or something, you want to make sure you give them enough address space because you don't want to run out. So that's very important. So for the sake of all of this, we're going to keep it to the default and give us ourselves 65,000 um, IP addresses. And the next thing is, is subnets. So, so what are subnets? Subnets are subnetworks. They're, they're, they're subnetworks inside of your main network. So you could think of it as let's say you're in an office building and you have, you know, the engineering department and the, the HR department. So you might have a network for your engineering department and then you might have another network for your uh, HR department. Another way to think about it is think about your home internet. You know, you have your router at home. Well, your, your house is like a sub network. So think of your whole neighborhood as the network. You can even go bigger. Your whole county would be like your network. But think of your whole neighborhood as your network. And then every house in your neighborhood is a sub network. And each house gets its own IP addresses. So, you know, house one might have IP address one, two, three, four. But house two has IP address four, five, six, seven, eight. And, and those two IP addresses get filled in to the, to, they take up space here. So that's kind of what subnets do. So let's, let's add a couple of subnets that we're going to, we're going to use these later on, but just to get an idea. So it gives us a default subnet right now. So we, it's doing 10.0.0.0 slash 24. And what that's actually going to do, that's going to give us 256 addresses. <clears throat> addresses for this subnet. So essentially, the two, we're going to use for this subnet here. We're going to use 256 of the addresses that are provided here. So let, let's change this to we're going to we're going to use this for auto scaling later on. So let, let's in, in in a load balancer. So let's add this. Let's name this. Let's just name this AG subnet. And that's going to be for our application gateway. Don't worry about that. We're going to use it later on. But you can see how it says um, uh, 251 plus 5 reserved addresses. So it's 256, but Azure actually reserves 5 of them. So we actually only have 251 to use. So just keep in mind that. So if your subnet, you know, is going to be needs more than that, you know, you could, you could put this down to 23. And you can see how you get 507. Maybe we needed, you know, 21. Now we're at 2043. So if you needed more address space, you, you, can, you can do it that way. But let's stick to the 251. So let's add that there. And then we're going to add, so now we, we've taken up 256 addresses from, from here, from our main network. But let's, let's add another subnetwork. We're going to name this, you know, backend subnet. Don't worry about what this is for. We'll, we'll use this later on, but this would be for like our load balancer going forward. Um, so we've got that. So now we need to like how many how many IP addresses might we need? You know, let let's just do you know we're gonna do ten dot zero dot one dot zero slash twenty four. So now that'll be two hundred fifty one. But maybe maybe we don't need that many. Let's just go to two twenty five. And now we're gonna have one hundred twenty three. And I think that's gonna be plenty for what we need. Uh, so we'll leave that there. Um, I'm not going to get all about what the subnet addresses are and the CIDR notation. That's going to be more advanced networking things uh, that we can. That might be a whole series in itself on networking and all of that. But this this is going to be enough for what you need to to get started. So so let's add that now. Right, so now so now we've got our main address space and two subnets. So now let's, we can do review and create now, but let's go to security. You know, by default, 
Azure provides um, some very basic DDoS protection to, to our, our uh, virtual network. You know, you can also do, do standard, which will also allow, which you, you have to pay for the standard. But, uh, you know, it, it provides like, uh, I believe some like AI and machine learning things to it. Uh, but we're, so we're just gonna stick with basic for now. You can also do a firewall if you need to, which you, you would need to um, set up some, some different things for that. We're going to disable that for now. Um, and then next, we can set up, again, we can set up tags like we did on our resource group. So for maybe some reason you needed a, um, a tag for some reason on there, which, which is a good idea to, to do tags. You know, I found resource groups scope things pretty well and the subscriptions scope things really well. So like for billing and, and certain things like that. So I don't need to use tags that much, uh, but, but they're there. And so review and create. So what this is going to do is this is going to do like a, you know, it's just going to do some validation, make sure everything we've entered is correct and pass a simple validation. And, and virtual networks creating them are not going to, um, they're not going to cost you anything. And um, you can have multiple virtual networks inside of a resource group if you want as well. And so let's, let's create. And creating this might take a minute or two. Perfect. So now we have our resource group created. So let's let's go back to our, our homepage here. Let's go go to our resource group and click it. Now we have oh it's not created yet. All right, so now yeah, we've got our our virtual network inside of our resource group now. So let's just click that. And so we have no devices in our virtual network yet. We just have a blank virtual network. As we as we proceed through the videos, we will, you know, start adding things to our virtual network. But there's different things you can see on here: the tags. Um, you can see your address space, uh, connected devices, your subnets. So maybe you wanted to add more subnets afterwards. Uh, security firewall. Your peerings. So you have your virtual network peering. So maybe you needed to, you know, maybe you have your, your virtual network locked down to the outside world, but maybe you had another virtual network in that you own or that's in, in your account that you want to be able to connect to this virtual network. So you can do virtual network peering as well for that. Um, but that's, that's the basic of virtual networks. We will start adding things to our virtual networks now, but Make sure you hit the subscribe button below so you don't miss out on any of the future videos.